It's a place for good times and great food. Sundancer's restaurant has been an iconic Cape Cod waterfront favorite for decades with breathtaking sunsets and a dining experience to match. You'll be transported to a summer state of mind. Your entire family will enjoy the friendly service, scenic location, and savor over the freshest New England favorites. At night, Sundancers offers the best Cape entertainment all summer long. Tonight, we'll be rocking out to the amazing sounds of high attitude. I love that dirty water. Oh, Boston, you're my home. Dirty Water TV is next. Dirty Water Going worldwide, Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. Love that Dirty Water TV. I love that Dirty Water. Dirty Water TV, Dirty Water. I love that Dirty Water TV. I really do. The best. Ow! Welcome to Dirty Water TV. I'm Melissa Sapini. And I'm Olivia LaDawn. Tonight, we're coming to you from an old staple here on Dirty Water TV. Sun Dancers and West Dennis. Owned and operated by Ed and Diane Kelly, who have been great friends with Dirty Water throughout the years, are now a part of Dirty Water Cape and Island, which brings you the best summer spots this vacation land has to offer. That's right, Melissa. Sun Dancers has been serving the Cape for over three decades. By day and early evening, it's your go-to place for the freshest seafood with amazing water views of the Bass River. By night, this place rocks with the best entertainment around. They have a saying here, Come in for a drink and stay for a bite. We have a big show planned for you tonight. Here's what's on tap. Leah Clark takes us to Dino's and Mashpee for an amazing anniversary celebration. We'll also hit Hyannis and take you to the Black Cat Tavern and Embargo. And we'll go inside Sundancers to sample their amazing food and drink. But first, we're off the sandwich for Dirty Water, Cape and Islands kickoff party at the Pilot House. And that's tonight's big ticket brought to you by Higgs Tickets. The summer season is officially kicking off here at the Pilot House in Sandwich. And you know what? I can't think of a better spot here with great live entertainment, stunning ocean views, and of course, the great food and drink. So let's kick off summer with a bang here at the Pilot House in Sandwich. Dirty water, let's Cheers go! Raise it up! The Dirty Water Cape and Islands campaign puts the spotlight on the top venues on the Cape and Islands. And tonight, the lights were shining brightly on some of the best of the best. We're just trying to spread the great word of the what's going on at Cape Cod, with Cape Vibes, with Dirty Water Cape and Islands, getting all these people together, have a great night. Located on Cape Cod Canal at Sandwich Marina, the Pilot House Restaurant and Lounge offers something for everyone. Whether you crave a classic Cape Cod feast, signature yep. cocktails overlooking the water, or dancing to live music all night long. We're live, Dirty Water, I'm Hitch from the band Third Left. The Pilot House is here to guide you through a summer filled with good times, great friends, and the best summer memories. The vibe is awesome, the sun, the sun sinking, it's starting to happen. Good food, good drinks, the best staff, great music, good vibe. That's what brings everybody back. So I heard the Pilot House won an award. Would you please welcome to the stage the 2023 Massachusetts Restaurant Association Restaurant Tour of the Year, Bob Jarvis. Yeah, we got a Restaurant Tour of the Year, a big honor. We love to support the Cape, and uh, it's good to see that a Cape Cod restaurant um, restaurants got that. It was a great night and a lot of really, really good people. The Pilot House invites you to enjoy the freshest native seafood and New England summertime favorites seven days a week. We're trying to bring like, a, what can I say, like a high end in a way with the fried food, the favors, local favors with like a little twist, you know what I mean? Like a little Asian, Mexican influence. So that's why we are a little different than anybody else. So I've been a chef on the Cape for a long time. Uh, I was at the Lobster Trap for 16 years uh, with my brother Dave and uh, just kind of ventured out a little bit. Uh, I've known Bobby for 25 plus years and uh, he was kind of looking to bring someone on and so I'm here just heading kind of all three of our restaurants. So we have this here, we have Bucatino in Falmouth and also the Quarterdeck in Falmouth. Everyone's unique in itself. You know, this here is water, um, Scream Summer. Bucatino is Italian. 
So totally different flair than the quarter deck is that kind of dark dive, traditional New England style. The only thing that can improve these summer vibes is what some deem the perfect view. That's why the Pilot House is the perfect location to kick the dirty water Cape and Island season off in style. We're from the Pilot House. And we love that dirty water TV. I'm here with Jacqueline, the owner of the local bar and grill here in Sandwich. So we can come here during the winter and have fun too. Our kitchen's one of the only kitchens that are open till nine every night and the bars open till midnight every night. So that's one of the things that we kind of like hang on for the, through the winter, especially on the Cape. So one of the things that we kind of focus on is seafood, obviously being on the Cape, but it's not our major focus. We also have, you know, barbecued ribs. Uh, we have a spring roll bowl. We have awesome burgers, awesome chicken sandwiches. We have a kicking chicken sandwich that is my recipe. I started making it at my house about 20 years ago, and I threw it on the menu, and it kicked. I wasn't sure if it was going to kick off, but it did. People are buying it by the pint. So the sauce is amazing. It's definitely something really different. I'm um, trying to find someone to jar it for me, so... What can we look forward to for Kikades? We just opened up three new locations, uh, our fast casual um, business, um, Plimpton, Manamet, and West Bridgewater, so we got those all rolling, and we're hoping by the end of summer 2023 and football season, we're moving our original Plymouth location that's been on Main Street for about 11 years now down to the other end of Main Street to what was the Papa Gino's. Uh, we got a beautiful bar inside. It's going to be a great place to watch the game, so we're really excited about that. For those who don't know Kikades, what are some highlights on the menu that they can look out for or things that they must try when coming in? Well, obviously the burgers are great. Uh, everybody knows that, but I can never pass up on the chicken sandwiches. I say that every year. Our chicken sandwiches are my favorite thing on the menu. We've got some great apps, great salads. In this summer, you can catch the, the Krabby Patty, which is a homemade crab cake uh, burger. So that's exciting as well. Describe the vibe and the energy and the background of the lobster trap. Well, trap's the OG. We've been on the Cape since 1969, serving up a uh, classic Cape Cod fare with uh, a little bit of a twist. I'm a chef by trade and we're just cooking cool, fun, coastal cuisine, having a good time in a nice relaxed atmosphere. You can come to the trap in a pair of sandals and a bathing suit off the beach or come uh, pre-game before a wedding in your suit. It's just a fun place to hang out, get some good food, meet some friends, have some good cocktails. Our sister restaurant we opened up uh, about a year and a half ago, Trading Post Lounge. It's about a mile up the street from the trap. It's an old school dive bar, been in business since 1940. We took it over, revamped the place, revamped the menu. We're doing South Shore bar pizzas. We got the coldest beer in town, jukebox, kino, pool table. Come in with your buddies on a, on a rainy day or a Friday night when you don't feel like cooking. Grab a couple pizzas and uh, the coldest beer in town and have fun. We do so much so well. It's great. Tacos are awesome. Our enchiladas, our verde pork is amazing. Uh, if you want that traditional street food, we have it. But then we have some items with a little flair. We have a nice cod dish. Uh, so a little twist puts a little Cape Cod flair into it. Uh, but we always try to make sure that we have a few items that are all traditional. You feel like you're down in Mexico, you'll also get your ideas uh, and feel like you're back on Cape Cod as well. Now that the summer has officially started, and of course the summer solstice, the summer clock is ticking. So don't delay getting to the Pilot House here in Sandwich for the best summer vibes, food, drink, and entertainment. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Sophia Sargent. That's tonight's big ticket, brought to you by Hick Tickets. Here's what else is going on around town. Hi, I'm Higgs, so call me, get tickets, and be part of the action. Thanks, Sophia, that was quite an event. And now we're gonna toss it to Chef Anthony, who's gonna tell us all about Sundancer's culinary program. I'm Chef Bennett. I'm here at the Sundancer's at Cape Cod. Sundancer's is special. This is my first season here. What we have here is a Cajun shrimp stir fry. Saute shrimp, saute vegetables in a lemon butter, lemon, white wine sauce and it's served 
with rice. What we have here is a caprese salad. Caprese salad is made of fresh mozzarella, fresh basil, balsamic glaze. What we have here is a combo. The combo appetizer, three cocktail shrimp, three scallop and bacon. What we have here is a jerk chicken sandwich. This one is from home, I'm from Jamaica. So it's a homemade jerk sauce. The pasta salad is a Caribbean pasta salad, made Caribbean style. Serve with grilled pineapple. This is new to the menu. What we have here is a Cajun swordfish over ozo pasta salad. It's a Greek dish, so it insists of tomato, fresh feta cheese, onion, and what we have here is a ozo dressing, and that's its new on the menu. What we have here is a seafood Alfredo. It consists of shrimp, scallop, and fresh lobster meat served in an Alfredo sauce over linguine. It's a combination of everything. So when you come to Sun Dancers, you're gonna experience a good experience while you're dying. Up next, we'll take you to Pizza Heaven in Mashpee. And later, Ed Kelly of Sun Dancers gives us the 411 on this Cape Cod hotspot. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Olivia Lazan. And I'm Melissa Tapini. We're coming to you from Sundancers in West Dennis. Melissa, do you like pizza? Olivia, you know I love pizza. And I do too. Well, some of the best pizza has been made for over 40 years at Dino's and Mashpee. I know that, and I've actually been there. Our own Leah Clark reports on a special 10 year anniversary with Dirty Water TV and Dino's. Leah? So if there's one thing you don't see on Cape Cod very often, it's longevity. Restaurants come and go with each new season, but that is not true for Dino's Sports Bar here in Mashpee. Dino's has been around for decades, and tonight we celebrate Dirty Water TV's 10-year partnership with Dino's. So let's go check out what makes this place super special. Welcome to Dino's Sports Bar, nestled in the heart of Mashpee on Cape Cod. With its vibrant atmosphere, delicious food, and thrilling sports action, Dino's is a favorite among locals and visitors alike. I've been spending my last, last 12 years at Dino's for my birthday. Oh, and it's your birthday? Yes. Happy 12th birthday! Thank you. Dino's Sports Bar is renowned for some of the best pizza on Cape Cod. From classic margarita to loaded meat lovers, their menu offers a wide array of options to satisfy every pizza craving. Tell me about what makes this place so special. What is the special sauce? Uh, the special sauce, it's love. Um, I love doing this. Um, everything starts from the top. We work our way down. My staff is fabulous. We always continually change. We added the outside deck. We added the sports bar. We have, also have lottery. Now our new thing is sushi. We have a great new chef, Sang, doing our sushi. Big hit so far. And the summer is always here. And it's always fun. I tried to bring the best sushi that I could yeah. from the city to the cap. What's the most popular role here? The uh, Godzilla. A shrimp tamara roll topped with some spicy tuna, smoked eel, some shrimp, some of the spicy sauce, the sweet, um, they call unagi sauce in most places, tobiko, which is, which is the, uh, the fly and fish egg. Thirsty? Dino's Sports Bar has got you covered with an impressive drink menu, ice cold beers and frozen cocktails that will cool you down any hot summer night. Oh my god. Is that good? That's incredible. That's the caramel mudslide that they have here. I think they have three or four. Different mudslides here. It's delicious. It's got a little different taste, a little sweeter taste than a regular mudslide. So it's delicious. This is our 10th, at least 10th year that you, we've been working on Dirty Water TV. It's my 33rd year overall. Uh, it never gets old. It's always a lot of fun here. We love that, that Dirty, Dirty Water, Water TV. TV. I really look forward to trying some of that pizza. Right now, we're going from Mashpee to downtown Hyannis, where Leah Clark's going to be taking us to Embargo, Martinis, and Tapas. Leah? We are at the legendary spot Embargo on Main Street, Hyannis, and Cape Cod. Let's go check it out and see what this awesome place has to offer. Located on Main Street in Hyannis, Embargo is Cape Cod's premier location for casual dining and big city atmosphere that you can actually see and taste. We're starting our 17th summer. I lived in England for 10 years. I grew, I grew up in Newton. I, uh, I spent my summers on the Cape, and when I, uh, when I moved back from England, I came back to, back to the Cape, and there was nothing uh, around, so I built this place, and 
my wife who's back there now talked me into it and uh, 16 years later here we are it's great it's complete cape vibes with a sophisticated nightlife twist you have everything from burgers to tacos what's the rundown on the menu what can we expect to get here i sell sushi pizza we've got homemade flatbreads which we sell a zillion of all they do is make dough all day uh, everything is scratched. We, we don't buy salad dressing. We make our dressings. Everything is scratched. Come enjoy big plates, raw bar, great steaks, and world-class tapas for a bite after work or for dinner. If you're looking for some late afternoon fun, Embargo features half-priced tapas and oysters every day from 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. Embargo is also known for its scratch kitchen and for serving some of the best martinis, signature cocktails, and house-infused spirits. We were the, really the first martini bar in the Cape as well, so we've got about 25 specialty martinis that we change two or three times a year. Some of them have been here since we opened the All Dave All Night, which is not named after me. Not named after you? Uh, I'm the All Dave for five minutes. House-infused uh, vodkas, house-infused tequilas. We have a blueberry tequila that we infuse. Uh, my wife, Marissa, is in charge of the drinks, and they're they're fabulous. We're over a quarter of a million martinis right now that we've sold. Oh, my so God. It's good. The staff really make the place, and obviously the food is is fantastic. Yeah. Anything else you'd like to add? Embargo spelled backwards is oh grab me. You heard it from Dave, you guys. <laughs> we had an awesome time chatting with Dave here at Embargo on Main Street Hyannis. This place is awesome. It is popping. The vibe is sexy. It's cool. If you're in the Cape, come on down to Embargo. Grab yourself a martini or some tapas and have yourself a good time. We also want to wish them a happy 17th birthday. So happy birthday to Embargo. You guys, reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Leah Clark. Up next, we'll go inside Sundancers. That's when Dirty Water TV continues. I'm Diane Kelly and I love that Dirty Water TV. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Melissa Sapini. Tonight we're here at Sundancers with the owner, Ed Kelly. Hi, Ed. Hi, Melissa. How are you this evening? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm very good, thank you. It could be a little better. We got a little bit of rain coming down and the dock's kind of empty tonight, but you know, that's nice. that's the way it goes on It's Cape Massachusetts, Park. right? That's right. Wait a minute. The weather will change. I know. So, Ed, tell us about this pretty dock. I mean, it's gorgeous here. This dock was created in 2020. Yeah. We have 200 feet of complimentary tie-up, which is one of the largest on the Cape. You can come in, you can use the marina, you can use Sundancers with no charge for the tie-up. And we have plenty of water. The only restrictions are at the bridge. There's a height restriction. Our to-go business has really picked up. People yeah. come all the time. Now with the uh, extension of the to-go drinks, we are allowed to sell with food. Right. We have the to-go drinks and the food. So people bring it down to their boat and they'll yeah. come back and forth and they really enjoy okay. it. Tell me about the highlights on this menu. Jeff Anthony is the newest member of our team and he brings a Caribbean flair that is outstanding. The dishes, I never know what he's gonna come up with. He really, really has an art for the taste. Right. Tell me more about this nightlife. The nightlife is great. We've been here since 84. My wife and I have been here for the last six years. My wife for 24. But the nightlife here, it's one of the staples on Cape Cod. It's one of the older, older establishments still in business on the Cape as far as nightclubs go. Tell me more about this come by land, come by sea. Well, you can come by road, which is, you know, it is what it is. But you come by boat when on our beautiful Bass River. Right. You have almost eight miles of beautiful scenic wildlife, open water. So you can come on up, tie up, come on, sit at the bar in the air conditioning on a hot day, enjoy some of my wife's delightful frozen drinks. They're phenomenal. All right, Ed, thank you so much for having us. I'm sure we're going to have a great night here at Sundancers. I'm going to toss it over to Olivia, who's with Diane. Thank you, Melissa. I'm here with owner and bartender Diane Kelly. Diane, tell me about the drinks. Tell me what your favorite drink drink is, what's the most popular? Well, one of my favorite drinks is a tiki tan. It's made with um, screw rum, maison, raisin rum, and then a mix of juices. That's one of our most popular drinks. And what's the most popular that you feel everybody gets in the summer? Oh, mudslides. I would take a mudslide. <laughs> Thank you so much for talking to us. You're very welcome. Have a happy summer. Dirty water rums. Up next, we're off to Hyannis Harbor. That's when Dirty Water TV returns. Welcome back to Dirty Water TV. I'm Olivia Ladon. And I'm Melissa Sapini. We're coming to you from West Dennis at Sundancers. And now we have Leah Clark standing by to introduce us to the Black Cat Tavern in Hyannis. 
Thanks guys. So I am standing here in front of the Black Cat venues right here in Hyannis Harbor. It is a beautiful day in Cape Cod. Now the Black Cat is the place to be if you want to experience classic Cape Cod with delicious food, drinks, waterfront views and entertainment. This place hits the spot. So let's go check out what makes these three distinct venues so special. With each new season, patrons indulge in casual waterfront dining at the Black Cat Tavern, situated right on the docks of Hyannis Harbor. Choose between the classic seaside charm of the indoor dining area or the inviting heated patio, where you can enjoy your meal while watching the boats glide by. The service is efficient, the food is great, the, I don't even have to tell you about the, the ambiance. You get music, you get the, the tourists coming and going to watch them rush for the ferry yeah. is hilarious. The menu boasts an array of delicious options from juicy burgers and fresh salads to delectable native seafood and prime beef. We have fresh food every day, the yeah. delivery trucks are pulling up all day long. The docks are right across the street, so everything is fresh air. And once your meal is done, be prepared to be entertained with live performances. We have inside, outside, we have bar inside, outside, we have uh, entertainment inside, outside, so we have a lot going on, something for everyone. Adjacent to the Black Cat Tavern lies the Black Cat Harbor Shack, beckoning you to unwind as you savor Cape specialties and sip on summer cocktails from its front porch. Make sure to discover the Shack Outback Raw Bar, nestled behind the Harbor Shack. It's just a little gem on the harbor. Not a lot of like tourists know that this is a place back here, so it's outside, it's in the sun, drinks are good, can't really beat it. Take a seat at the spacious bar, where you can watch your oysters and clams freshly shucked before you, as well as some of the best chowder and lobster rolls on the Cape. We were the uh, winner of the Cape Cod Chowder Festival four out of four times. Really? Uh, named best lobster roll in New England by Yankee Magazine. Oh, wow. So I, I suppose it's the seafood. <laughs> so the Black Cat Venues offers everything you could possibly want or need right here in Hyannis Harbor. Reporting for Dirty Water Media, I'm Leah Clark. It is that time. We have to wrap things up here at Sundancers. We want to thank the Kelly family and all the staff here at Sundancers in West Dennis. That's right. Log on to DirtyWarMedia.com for all nightlife news and information. And follow us on all social media at Dirty Water Media. That's right, we have a saying here at Dirty Water TV. The weekend may be over, but the party never ends on Dirty Water TV. Hey.